Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniela, um, and I'm really, really, really excited. It's been so long since I've actually filmed a video, uh, but I was in Colombia and I've been working really hard, and just life is a little crazy. But today I finally got to sit down and film this look for you guys. It's actually, as you can tell by the title, um, inspired by the one and only Kylie Jenner, and she posted, I think, um, a couple of days ago, a photo because she just launched her new lip kits. I think it's like um, Boss, and then I don't remember the one that's like really, really pink, but I'll definitely have it in, like in the description bar below. But anyways, um, I really got inspired by it because it's just like this bright pink lip, and. I personally don't have the lip kit. I used something that I already had, um, but I really got inspired by it because spring is here in like 1% of the country, but it's here and summer's coming up. So I really, really wanted to do something like this. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Just remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and there is a little bell right next to the subscribe button that will let you know when I've uploaded a new video. So let's keep going to the Hey guys, so let's just get started. Um I am going to be doing ugh, I have um hair on my face. Let me actually take it back. My hair is so dark. I haven't colored it in two years, so I feel like it blends in with my background. But anyways, um yeah, I'm going to be starting with the eyes, so I'm going to be taking just um, my fingers and going to be using NYX eyeshadow base. Um, I guess it's the neutral one, this one, and I'm just going to be priming my eyes with this. So I'm, I got really inspired by this new um, Kylie Jenner uh, collection for her new lip kits. Um, she posted a picture, I think, on her Instagram, and I really, really, really liked it. Um, so I wanted to recreate it. I don't have the lip color that, I probably don't have any of the colors that she used actually, but specifically I guess the look is more... Um, about the lips and I don't have her um, her lip kit but we're just gonna make do with what I have. The lip kit is called Say No More. Say no More. So if you want to have the actual lip kit that she has on her lips um, then you can go ahead and purchase it but I am just gonna just gonna I'm just gonna do what I what I do. So I'm actually gonna put some dark, some concealer, some LA Girl in the color Toast. Um, put it on first. I'm gonna put it right underneath here, under my eyelash. Oh, don't get it in your eye. And just kind of like blend that in with your finger. And then I'm also going to put some right on my crease just to kind of like give me some contour just to create a face. Anyways, so now I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. Um, I chose this. Uh, because her eyes are very neutral. I think that's like something that the Kardashians are like really into like something really like Not dramatic not cut crease just very like neutral Very soft well blended and I feel like most people have this in their collection So it's like it's like one of my go-to's it has a lot of beautiful colors. It's very much used um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use raw sienna on my crease with using a oh my god i think it's a mac 224 brush it is literally so used and views that i can't even see the number so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and 
put that all over my crease very lightly and kind of just blend it out kind of giving my crease a wash of color and then just kind of building up bringing that right into the inner corner and just blending I'm going to go ahead and do that on the other side. I love this brush because it's so fluffy, it's so big, it really like blends out the color. It kind of just gives you a wash. Can you guys see that? Going in with a little bit of more color and going into the inner corner, just kind of Focusing color there. Just blending. I just noticed I have a little open bowl right there. Hmm. Um, Kylie's eyebrows are freaking beautiful um, in this picture, so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of fill mine in a little bit. I think I have pretty decent looking eyebrows, um, so I don't fill them in that much. But for the purpose of this video, I will use my NYX Eyebrow Gel in black. Um, and go with like an angled brush. Literally, this is just an eyeliner smudge brush that I've had forever. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of fill the outer corner of my eyebrow. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. And then Get that eyebrow raise and then kind of do light strokes kind of just to fill it and then right underneath uh the beginning of my eyebrow right here just lightly like barely put some product and just take it up um i don't kylie's eyebrows are not like harsh at all so I'm not going for that look. And then kind of just brush them into place. And, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eyebrow. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with an eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna go into the color tempera. Um, and I'm just gonna go underneath my eyebrow bone right here and kind of highlight that bring it down and kind of blend it so obviously guys i'm a little uh darker <laughs> than kylie is um and i definitely don't look anything like her but I love her makeup and I just kind of was inspired by it. So, the 24 brush that I used before with the Raw Sienna, I'm just gonna kind of blend that even more. And then go back here and blend it even more. Just because this look is just so well blended. And I really wanna do her justice. All right, and then on her eyelid, I really literally don't even think she has anything on. So we're just going to leave it at that. And then I'm going to take a eye, a pencil eyeshadow brush. Yeah. I'm going to take a pencil eyeshadow brush. This is the MAC 219. And I'm going to dip that into... Uh, cypress umber which is kind of like 
chocolate brown and tap off the excess and then I'm just gonna uh, kind of give myself eyeliner um, but with eyeshadow so this is gonna create like a very smoky effect on the on the eyeshadow like on the eye this is gonna create a like a smoky eyeliner look so that's what she has in this picture so we're just gonna kind of build that Lashes, guys. Oh. Do you guys see that? And then kind of just slowly bring it into the inner corner of your eye. Just very, very slowly. Take your tongue, guys. Do I look weird when I'm going to open and I'm going to close? Yeah, and she doesn't even have her wings out. It's just kind of like barely there. Honestly, this is probably such a natural look that you could wear it every single day. It's so pretty, and I'm just gonna go ahead and I put some shadow in the um in the outer corner of my eye, and so I'm just gonna kind of like try and blend that as well with what we were already working with. I might even go back with real guard, like barely, like. Not even that much and kind of it's like an orange tint to it and I kind of want to warm this up a little bit just here Just in the outer oh, it's really pretty. I bet some people are like she didn't even do anything, but I promise guys I did Right there. You see that? Right there And I warmed it up a little bit So, so perfect. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do that same burn eye effect. On my other. Okay. I think that is pretty solid. It's literally such a neutral eye, but it's still so pretty and so wearable. And guys, you don't even have to use this exact palette that's dropped. I literally drop everything. You don't even have to use this. I mean, you just really need, um, like a orangey, uh, like a burnt orange, this color right here. Like these kind of colors, I use this one, and then this one, and this one. So, you know, you could find that out there. Um, it doesn't even have to be this palette. Okay, so next. So she has a really nice bright under eye. Um... A little bit of contour on her nose, a little bit of bronzer. I don't really see that much highlight on her. And then the really beautiful lips. So let's get to, to that. Um, I will probably be priming my face with Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation uh, Primer. Oil free. Perfect. And I'm just going to be kind of putting that where I get oily. Which... It's in my T-zone. Excuse my horrible nails. I need, to get, I need to do them or get them done. Either or. Okay. And I really love this primer. I think like that one and then the Benefit uh, Pore Professional or Pore Professional uh, primer are my favorite for sure. Um, 
and I am going to be uh, actually let me see. I've been doing this lately and I really really like it because it gives like a nice bright under eye so I've been using the MAC Prep and Prime uh, in Radiant Rose under my eyes first and this has like a a salmony has a pink undertone to it um, which helps with darkness so um, I like it a lot and then I'm just gonna go ahead and work that in bring it to my nose as well um, I'm probably gonna this is gonna really since I am um, darker this is so white, like, can you guys see that? So pale for me, but it's gonna get covered up. That's why I put it on before foundation. Cause if not, it'll ghost me out. And this product, I, I really like it, but I always forget that it dries kind of fast. So if you guys want, like if you guys are slow or want it to blend better, Put this side, blend it out, and then put this side, and then blend it out. Um, makes it a lot easier. And so, I'm going to use this one, guys. It's Makeup Forever High Definition uh, Foundation. My color is, uh, I don't know, does it tell you your color? I don't think so. Sorry, I don't think it tells you. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take some of that and i'm just gonna you know what dab it like this on my skin i just finished doing my under eye concealer and i used the revolution uh conceal and define in c9 and i actually i used my uh beauty sponge but i actually also went with a concealer brush and kind of made this like i kind of cleaned up the eyeshadow Kind of trying to make an intentional like line there because in the picture that Kylie um, posted, it's kind of it's it's there. You can see the concealer line. So, um, all right, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, contour my nose a little bit. using the same LA Girl color and toast. I'll start with my nose because she has that. Ooh. I love doing this. Everybody contours differently, you know, do whatever you're comfortable with. This is just what I like. I mean, it's worked for me um, for quite a bit. I'm going to go with a smaller. Let's see what the rest of It's well. okay. looking good. With that other concealer brush that I had put underneath the eyes, this is just kind of bring it up, kind of to help blend things. Perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put powder underneath my eyes. Um, so unfortunately guys, the video of me uh, putting the powder on was just not usable. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I used the banana powder from the Anastasia Beverly Hills 
contour palette and then I use the Max Give Me Sun to bronze up my face. And now I'm using Max Lipstick in Candy Yum Yum. Anyways, it's such a beautiful color. Um, and it's definitely very spring, so. It's perfect. Like I said, you guys can uh, definitely try uh, Kylie's new lip kit. But since I don't have it, um, and I knew I had this one, I really, really wanted to recreate this look. Um, so yeah, just mix my hair a little bit. And then of course, you can just finish it all off with uh, setting your uh, makeup with a spray. I usually use the Mario Desk uh, Rose Water or Lavender and Aloe one, but I have this right here. And kind of just let that set. And yeah, this is a finished look.